Welcome back race fans. This is RC Speedy Jeb. Welcome to another uh, Grand Tours of Sport video. Uh, just to forewarn you guys, this is a video about the uh, former penalty system uh, last week or the week before or so uh, at uh, Majori, uh, the daily race uh, in the GT3 cars. So real quick, uh, if you guys have stopped by, thank you so much for, for uh, joining the channel and uh, looking at some of the stuff. Uh, feel free to subscribe, a like, and comment on the video as well as click that bell icon so you guys can be notifi notified when I upload anything. Um, so as I said, we're going to go check out a video from Majori that we did. Um, so this is the uh, let's see, this is the video from the 16th. Um, so I am in the Jaguar F-Type uh, Group Three or GT3 car. Um, so I jumped in this race. Uh, I really like the, G the GT3 races usually. If they have GT4 races, I'll do those. I try to stay away from the one make races. Um, you, can, you guys tell me what your thoughts are on there, but those seem to be like SR and DR killers as far as that. But anyway, we're going to go into the penalty system, which was broken, I think, for a long time. Um, uh, Grand Tours of Sport has finally uh, rectified that, and it looks like the penalty system is better. Uh, but again, comment if you guys have done some of the new stuff and if it's still a little off, tell me kind of what's going on. Uh, I will get on this week, um, but as of right now, I'm just focusing on doing some videos and uh, doing stuff like that. And actually looking to start our first uh, GT3 race with another driver that I met on Crazy Sports. So look forward to those videos coming up soon. Uh, so let's make sure our settings are on variable and always on. And then let's go and walk through this race here. So. Uh, we're on the racing hard tires, so there's no fuel, no tires to worry about. We're starting in 7th position um, out of uh, 16, uh, so somewhere right in the middle or almost right in the middle of the field there. Um, we've got Dirk McGurk in the Porsche in front. There's a lot of Porsches. Trey Gamer in the Porsche in front, um, who's hog doggy in the, uh, looks like the Peugeot, and then the Porsche, Porsche, Porsche. And pretty much Porsches were the, were the standard in this. Um, so we're going to go into uh, the first corner here. Um, now I didn't do very much practice in this race. Um, I didn't even. I did a huge, a very quick paint job on the uh, on the uh, Jaguar just to give it some some more color, um, nice and bright, right? Um, that's how I roll. <clears throat> Maybe you'll see here I come up um, on the first couple corners, and it's uh, line of stern. Pretty much everybody's in the same spot. Nobody's really making any moves yet. Um, but you can see here there's going to be a little bit of um, yellow flag issue, and then a little bit have a contact uh, out of the uh, the big, I don't know what you call this corner, the big, uh, I think Super GT calls it the big banky boy, I think, or something like that. Or So you can see Trey Gamer up there gets a huge penalty. I think he had some contact with somebody. So I get a great run off of them, come up the inside, and actually um, by the end of this straight, I'll be clear of him a little bit by about half a car length. And this is where the penalty problem happens. He stays in it. You see him whisk off course there, and he comes back and nails me, and I get it. A five second penalty. You see the five second penalty even happened before I hit the wall. So I could definitely confirm it was for colliding with another car or forcing another car off track, which did not happen. But you can see what happened. So not only did I lose, you know, from seventh all the way down to 11th right now with uh, the Porsche um, of Diesel Goth right next to me or behind me, now I have to serve a penalty. So this is going to be fun. So I'm not one to quit races. Um, I think it's more important to stay um, in these races, even if something like this happens out of your control anyways. Um, so the only thing you can control is how you deal with it and how you get on with it. So lifetime penalty, five seconds, silent joy behind me serves one as well. Not quite as long as mine, but catches right up. Uh, so now I've got two Porsches behind me and I'm, you know, third to last. So great. Um, so there goes my dreams of doing anything good in this race, I think. Um, but you never know. I mean, you always stay in it because you always could gain positions. So wait till the end to see if that happens. If it's one of those come, come from behind videos, you never know. Um, but anyway, the penalty system is, was a big talking point. And I know a lot of, a lot of people like, uh, if you follow another YouTuber called Arius, um, Rory uh, Alexander, uh, I think he's from UK. Um, he actually stopped playing Grand Tours of Sport and started focusing on ACC right now. Um, go check out his videos if you guys haven't seen or heard from him. I've mentioned him a couple times, but go go look him up. He's got some great content, and I really like his perspective on things. So, um, But anyway, uh, he's been focusing on ACC a lot because the penalty system is clearly super broken, or was at this time. So we'll see if he comes back um, and starts doing it, or if he's uh, forever ruined uh, by ACC. 
Uh, speaking of that, actually, if you guys haven't heard, uh, Soto Corsa Competizione is what I'm talking about. And they're actually finally coming to um, Xbox and to console Xbox and PlayStation uh, in June. So I'm highly looking forward to that. I think uh, ORC uh, is going to jump all over that. And especially as a wheel user, um, I'm going to, I think, enjoy that game a lot. I've uh, been waiting for um, that game since it came out two years ago in 2018. Uh, but it's on PC. <coughs> so the advantage is they've actually really... I think fine-tune that game on PC and hopefully everything translates well to console. We'll see. I know that the, everything's slightly different obviously and then the mechanics and everything like that. So um, I think they did a really good job with a set of Corsa 1 so I don't see it as a problem. They've got uh, better graphics and just amazing gameplay. And if you do pre-order right now, um, you guys you can get the uh, the DLC um, of the North American content too. You know, Laguna Seca is one of the tracks on there too. So. Really curious about that game. So let me know your guys' thoughts on that, too, if you guys play Grand Tours of Sport, some of the other Sims and Simcades, whatever you want to call them, and if you're looking forward to that uh, ACC uh, release. But anyway, back to the race here. You can see I'm in 11th position here, and still just uh, I'm catching up. I've lost two guys behind me, and uh, we're going to try to make some hay here. Let's go with, uh, let's see, no. Let's go with the cockpit cam. I kind of like that one. <coughs> so we can kind of look. Nope, we can't. Not with that kind of look behind us too I think every once in a while or you can see the rear view mirror right there which is good incidentally I love the sound of the of the cars when you get in the cockpit view or here it's a good driving view too but I prefer hood cam personally um, but I love the sound the whines of the tranny and stuff like that that's uh, true you know real life so we're coming up to uh, the Spears Gary right here kind of putting him uh, getting his mirrors Hopefully he'll make a mistake, and uh, we're going to see a little bit of that right now as he drives off. So hopefully, I was hoping he wasn't going to come right on Andreas, but um, which thankfully didn't happen. But I'm actually going to make a mistake and completely spin out and spin out again and get reset. So now all that time I was uh, leaving Silent Joy, Diesel Golf, and getting up the up the track is wasted. Not only from the five second really idiotic penalty I got for somebody else going off track and hit me. Um, now, um, I'm way in the back here. My tires are dirty, so it takes a little bit, as you know, a couple laps at least. Uh, but again, I'm not going to quit. We're just going to have a race and we're just going to finish. So, you can see the car is a little bit of a handful until those tires get completely clear, cleaned off. And uh, the end of this is actually going to be quite exciting, so that's, a, that's good news. So, shocker or... Um, you know, that didn't, I didn't go from last to first, guys. Uh, that didn't happen in this race. Um, I know some of you guys were waiting for this, and I've, I've done that before, obviously, but uh, made too many mistakes on my own as well, or one, one. I guess one too many stake is more than one, right? Or one or more. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, we're, we're going to follow this to the end here. We've got a couple laps left, uh, one and a half lap or one and, three quarter, or one and a quarter lap, whatever it is. So we're going to follow this right now with the uh, with the cockpit cam and finish that out. So the guy in front of me is gone. Obviously you see he's turning into turn one right there. So almost no way unless he makes a mistake. But I've got two Porsches behind me, hungry. Hungry to get past. So coming to the first corner here, I like to take a tight get on this rumble strip and then track it all the way out. Uh, let off the gas a little bit here, uh, just to kind of turn in a little bit and then break at the end of this curb, turn into this uh, third or fourth corner run it wide here and then turn in early at the, before the end of that curb so I can get on this curb and hit the power as soon as possible take a lot of track there and then let off the gas a tiny bit here just to turn in get on that curb let off the gas here a little bit and you obviously you guys see all this from the inputs I'm doing right below but uh, into the big banky corner I gotta call something else because that's not fair super GG coin that phrase I think so I can't take that um, so you got silent joy, there's a lot of camber on that corner, so uh, you can really run in there fast. I, I'd lose a little bit of time there, I think, to be honest with you. Um, anyway, we're up five tenths on my faster, our fastest lap. There's a yellow flag up ahead, you can see, so somebody had an issue, so that's that's good to see. So I'm gonna try to see if we can, oh, I wanna, see I took a bad line there, and watch this, oh, 0.5 second penalty. So that's not a bad penalty, that was my fault. Ran a little narrow and went over the line, so. That's a good penalty. I can see the penalty system working well there. So you can see here, 
I can't remember if I'm going to slow down or serve the penalty right here. I think I am. I think it forced me. I had it enough. Yep, slows me down. I'm going to go defensive. Real defensive because I had to. And you see Silent George is going to back off a little bit. And you can see he tries to run me really narrow. We kind of fight a little bit there. And then I'm going to go and let him go and see if I can undercut him right here. Take a really wide line. He does it a little bit, but not quite as much. And then I go to take the apex, and he's right there. So uh, good job to Silent Joy for blocking off that apex and just sitting right on it. There's nothing I could do. So it ended up being a good um, you know, positional battle towards the end for 11th place or uh, 10th place. So guys, that's a quick example of the terrible punish system that I'm sure you guys all dealt with and were aware of. So uh, hopefully that is fixed. Uh, again, if you guys haven't uh, done so, please subscribe, like, click the bell icon, and comment on any of the videos I have so I can know what you guys are enjoying and what you guys are looking forward to. So signing off for tonight. Thanks again, guys, for joining, and I'll see you next time.